Howdy everyone, thanks for watching Cheap Shot. You may have seen this video of Hoffman Tactical releasing his new Super AR-15 lower. He's made a couple changes to it, but one thing he's added is he's added a tube clamp here. Now if you come down to the comments, which I highly suggest you don't, you'll see a lot of people are arguing over whether or not the tube clamps, as well as the side support, actually do anything. So I've taken the liberty of doing some very, very, very rudimentary finite element analysis to see whether or not that actually matters. We're going to be looking at the displacement, aka what is the most these parts um, are displaced when we just put a static load on them. So essentially, basically, this is like we're going to hang weight off the buffer tube of this part, and we're going to see how well um, it holds up. Now, this is not set up to have these three printed. I set it up using ABS and mild steel. So, you know, that could be some different factors. Um, on its own, these numbers aren't meant to be taken. They're meant to be taken comparatively to each other. So we're going to compare this one, which is his original model. We are going to compare it where I have removed the side support. And then we're going to compare it where the side support is still on, but I have added a, a very rudimentary barrel band around to it. It's not as close as it would be. It's probably not as tight. Um, this is just to get a ballpark. This would be a bare minimum. So we're going to see if uh, the side support makes it stronger or weaker. We're also going to see if this, uh, the barrel band makes it stronger or weaker as well. So we've done a little bit of analysis, and each of these I've constrained it in the same spots. I've put the same force, 18 pounds, coming off the back, 100 millimeters, and we're going to see what the results are as far as displacement. So this first one, we have a displacement of 0 0.052 millimeters, all right? Now, would this actually happen uh, if you were to hang, you know, 18 pounds off the back? No, probably not. But like I said, this is comparative. So our baseline is 0 0.052. What happens when we remove that support? Well, we come over here and we remove the support and we are at 0 0.071. So, you know, that is roughly, uh, what is that? 36% uh, weaker, all right? We are, we are deflecting 36% more. So, you know, it's clear that that side support um, when taken without a band is very important, right? It gives us 30% of our strength almost. What happens when we add that tube clamp? 0 0.027. 0.027, 50% stronger than, than the basic one. We are, we are displaced 50% less by just adding that tube clamp versus not having that tube clamp at all. So deflecting 0 0.05, deflecting 0 0.07, deflecting 0 0.02. So clearly this shows, at least in our analysis, that the barrel band matters, that the tube band matters and that it makes it stronger. It makes it about 50% stronger as far as displacement goes. If you don't believe this, you know what? Nothing is stopping you from taking one, printing two of them, one with the band, or one without the band, and do your own testing. Hoffman loves to do those push-ups. Do some push-ups and uh, see for yourself whether or not it's stronger. So that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching Cheap Shot. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Make sure you head on over to Hoffman's channel. Like and subscribe to him as well. Uh, and uh, happy printing.